Thank you, Mr. Bruton. Minister Bruton. You're always there. Indeed. Um, the first item on the agenda then is Deputy Pat Buckley, which is to discuss the reconfiguration of an post mail centre in Cork. Deputy Buckley. Minister, as you are aware, and POST have recently signalled their intention to the monitoring group that it is their intention to close one of its four mail centres. Workers are rightly very worried and very fearful, fearful that this announcement should be made with just weeks to Christmas. On POST, in the past, often expressed an interest in the notion of closing one of these centres, but this time, and so close to Christmas, they have shown their hand early. The information that I have received in the last number of days only backs this assumption up. Rumours are rife in Cork, but also in the other three mail centres around the country, namely Dublin, Port Leash and Athlone. Rumours on the street from the other mail centres is that Cork mail centres to be targeted for closure or a drastic downsizing of operations in the south of Ireland, and I would like confirmation on whether this is true or not, please, Minister. I've also been told that new equipment has gone into two of the three remaining centres up the country, and I would also like if I could get confirmation on, uh, to see if this is true. But I do know that nothing new yet is going to Cork Mail Centre, only the possibility of bad news. In a very recent parliamentary question, I asked specifically about Cork Mail Centre, and I quote, to ask the Minister for Communications, Climate Action and Environment to status plans for the Cork Mail Centre and its continued use for the letter processing and other relevant roles, including new equipment investment and staffing plans in view of its importance to the region and if you will make a statement on the matter." End quote. Now, to my surprise, the reply that I received back was not, certainly wasn't encouraging. It said, um, and I quote again, Dear Pat, I regret that I have to disallow the following question tabled to you. Table by you. The Minister has no official responsibility to, the Dal to Dal Aaron for this matter, which is an operational matter for post. End quote. Now, in my opinion, when communications are at the very heart of this, I do think it matters. The very fact that the possibility of losing 200 jobs just after Christmas in Cork wouldn't matter would seriously need questioning. Minister, to state uh, Minister, the staff are very hardworking and surely their loyalty to impost would matter. We have seen in recent months the closures of many of our rural post offices, pubs and Garda stations, and this has left our rural communities very isolated. I have raised on many occasions in this house this very plight where rural depopulation is occurring, and now we see the possibility of urban depopulation seems to be the next phase, and surely we cannot let this happen. Minister, you spoke only recently in this chamber that the need for an post to be commercially viable, and I accept that, but surely after an post turning the corner and now have entered the channel of profitability, we are going to try and fix something that's not broken anymore. The fear is now that a decision will be made to close this regional centre, which will leave a very bitter taste in the mouth of the, amount of the loyal employees and the employees' families for a very long time. These workers are people, they are taxpayers, and also voters, may I add, and come from all the constituencies in County Cork and have worked in tandem with Unpost through their very modest wage increases in the last decade. And Unpost must remember too that they too have benefited enormously from the goodwill of their employees, who are now facing the possibility of closures of Cork's only re regional mail centre. Christmas is just a short few weeks away, Minister, so please do not let this centre close. I appeal to you on behalf of the staff, staff at Cork Mail Centre in Little Island to support the retention of these services. Go on, Thank you, Deputy Buckley, Minister. Well, I, I suppose, uh, Deputy Buckley, you, you, you did to some degree um, answer your own question in that you indicated that decisions in this area are not a matter for the Minister. Um, and you know, you, you did recognise that uh, UNPUST is a commercial state, state body. Uh, you know, you, so you know, that is the, the, the reality. And I think you do know that UNPUST has been through a, an extremely difficult period over the last couple of years. Uh, they suffered 40% loss in their mail, mail volumes. And that brought the company to a, a really precarious uh, point last, last year. Um, where there was uh, a very bleak outlook for 
the 9,000 people who are employed in the company. And the company has had to take some uh, difficult decisions, including, uh, as you know, a significant increase in the cost of, of, of postage, uh, restructuring with voluntary redundancies uh, occurring. Uh, but they've also been working to expand and find new businesses, and that's one of the uh, exciting areas where Ampost is pursuing new opportunities. Uh, the, 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 the question as to um, the, the mail centres, um, on post has indicated uh, back uh, some time ago uh, in the Labour Court when it was uh, in discussions with its trade unions, it, it did indicate that part of its restructuring uh, it confirmed that one of the mail centres will close in 2019. However, it is again confirmed, as it, as it has been confirmed here in the House before, uh, 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 no decision has been made uh, as to which centre will close. And you know, the consideration of this issue is still ongoing. The decision will be one for the board and management of the company, because it is a, a commercial company with a mandate to, to deliver postal delivery services and a viable post office and mail centre network. Uh, you will be aware that in those discussions in the Labour Court, uh, when the Labour Court in 2017 issued a recommendation for a 2% pay increase from the 1st of July 2017 in Unpost, payment was conditional on necessary cost savings being achieved. And one of the requirements of the recommendation was the conclusion of discussions in relation to Unpost's proposal to reduce the size of its mail uh, processing network. Uh, the recommendation provides that 50% of the savings arising from the closure of a mails processing centre will contribute towards the union's cost of uh, pay award. Uh, as I've already outlined, a lot of time and effort has been spent over the last two years working on restructuring in on post, which found itself in a very serious financial position. And this work was critical in order to save it and protect thousands of jobs and the post office network across the country. Uh, post office, postal services have been expanded from a five-day week service to a six-day week service for parcel delivery and collection in several areas. Uh, there's no doubt that continued transformation of the postal business will be difficult and will require tough decisions, but the new changes will be designed to make on post fit for a future where the organisation can be confident, robust and begin to grow again. Like I can assure and understand exactly what the Deputy is saying, that there are obviously huge concerns when it has been flagged that one of these mail centres uh, can, can, uh, is to be closed. But on post have a strong reputation of working closely with its trade unions in and with its worker representatives and handling uh, such decisions in as sensitive a way as possible. Uh, and they, they have sought to do that in, in, in any of their dealings. And indeed, you know, in, in last year when they did have voluntary redundancy scheme, uh, the terms were uh, generous and fair. Uh, but I, I, the, I suppose at the end of the day, we have to see the, the on post develop a sustainable long-term uh, trajectory for, for their business. And that's why they're expanding into financial services, uh, the recent decision you know, with Avant Card, they're developing mortgage pa packages, they're facilitating one-stop shop uh, location for non-digital transactions. You know, they are trying to develop their services. Thank you very much, Minister. Deputy Buckley, to conclude. Thank you, Minister, for your reply. Just to correct the record, it wasn't, I was only quoting from the John Corliss, not, not my words. Um, this, yeah, this document, right, this document here, this is the document that was sent by the commun uh, Communication Workers Union Headquarters and it does confirm that one centre is going to close and I, I will agree with you on that. But as I said previously, the rumours are in Cork. You have three centres uh, at Lone, Port Leash and Dublin and you're going to possibly take the one out of Cork. That's the whole Ireland South possibility. Cork is a huge county. It, I, I, it begs belief, you know, that a model that should be sustainable if we are going to try and cover the four parts of the country, that sure you'll have a centre in each part of the country. Um, the other thing I've been told by the staff in other centres, which was worrying, again, and I have no problem saying it, that members of the other um, centres have been actively lobbying their politicians for a number of months, where we've only received the news of this last week. And the fear that I have, Ministers, surely the, the unions knew about this months ago as well. And why can't 
All their members get a fair crack at lobbying and standing up for what they believe is right and fair and just. And as I said, look, it was worrying that on one of the quotes was that um, the CWU to write to the representatives in Cork not to engage with politicians at this present time. It's a bit of a worrying fact. If we go back to the final point is, it is 200 jobs, it is County Cork. Cork is a very, very big county. We actually have our own passport, whether you know it or not. Um, but I, 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 I'm just disappointed that, look, and maybe it's not your fault, but I am trying to get uh, answers for members and employees and families here just before Christmas, and nobody's given me an answer. What's going to happen with 200 jobs in this centre, plus the knock-on jobs, and you're saying that we don't know what's happening. I would really, really appreciate if we could get a concrete answer and some assurity for this staff before you, Christmas, Deputy. please. Thank you. I know you have a passport office. I didn't think you had your own passport. We have our, we have our own. Uh, we have. Minister. I mean, this isn't, this isn't new news that one of the mail centres is to close. I mean, back in September 2017 at the Labour Court, this was made clear. It was part of the negotiations at that stage. So this isn't something that's been sprung. Uh, and I'm absolutely assured that on post will not take this on political grounds. This will be a decision on the best interests of on post. And they're trying to rebuild a future after, as I said in the comment, you know, the volume of standard mail has dropped by 40%. Even this year, it dropped by 8 you know, so they have a real problem in terms of the, the mail service. They are obviously supplementing that by developing their package, uh, their parcel package services, and that has grown by 20%. So they've been successful, and they negotiated a reorganisation of that service with their trade unions so that it could grow the way that it's growing. But you know, I suppose at the end of the day, on post and its unions have to work together to to build a restructuring plan that carves out the sort of future that we all want for impost. And that's, what, that's, that's really what is happening. So all I can assure you is that this is not going to be taken by me or by politicians. This will be taken in the interests of the company and its workers by impost. And it will go to the board in due course. 2019 is the, the date for uh, a decision, not 2018. Uh, and, and that's all the, the assurance I, I can give you. I can understand your concern and that of your constituents, but uh, we have to allow the company and its workers, uh, you know, deal with this in, in the traditional way. Thank you very much, Minister. Thank you for being here. Um, the